Welcome to the Model Car Hobby Headquarters Unpodcast with your host, Luca C. Now, here he is, Luca C. Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? We have got a great Unpodcast for you. We got another one of my buddies over here. We got Louis Meyer. If you don't recognize the name, then you must not watch my channel because I'm always using his model cars and throwing his name up there. He, uh, he's a great guy, great builder, builds models really fast, but they look really cool. He takes great pictures of them. And that's kind of how I got to meet him. And uh, now, you know, find out uh, he's in the town after I meet him online because we were like both in the uh, Salvino's Builders Club, that right there. And uh, found out he doesn't live too far from me. We started talking and we started the club. He comes to the club. We become buddies. And uh, now he's got a YouTube channel. And it's a pretty good YouTube channel. I like it. I think you guys will like it too. And I thought I'd bring him on and we talk about him and his channel. So, uh, well, you know what? Again, enough hearing from me. How you doing, Louie? All right. Good to be here. I'm glad you came on. Wait, I'm supposed to say hello and welcome nice how polite yes well i tell you what i'm gonna hand this off to you for a bit until i interrupt and uh you know okay. tell us tell us like tell us the whole story of when did uh what were it was it little baby louis that uh, started building model cars and well start from I there much, uh i got involved with model cars my dad got me into them he built when he was a kid i was like five, six, little kid. And the first one I built was the uh, Snap Together. I want to say it was a Ravel 132nd 57 Chevy. Um, I, I want to say it's that one. I built, I don't know how many models over the years, but anyways, I think that's the first one. My first glue together kit was the Budweiser Model T uh, van, uh, AMT. Red on the package, I believe. I believe it was, anyways. But uh, that was, and I've been building ever since. It kind of slowed down when I got into real cars, like everybody. But yeah, that that seems to happen to us all. Yeah, but I still I I slowed down, but I still built, you know, because I still wanted more stuff. Mm -hmm. Like all right. Mm, you got that sickness, huh? Yes, that very much so. Uh, if, you, if you look behind me here, they're <laughs> they're everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have that problem. No, of course, none of us do. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reason I started the channel uh, was really because I saw other guys. I saw you guys that were, and you inspired me to do it, along with other YouTube channels. And my wife, uh, Jenna, did too. She goes, you know, you need to do something about this. And then uh, I have autism. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of a... It's a superpower and it's a, a hold back, I guess you could say. Yeah. Because uh, certain things, it's tough to me to go to big group meetings. It's tough for me to go to meetings. But if it wasn't for something I really liked, I would be interested. So it kind of works out. And, yeah. Uh, I saw you breaking out of your shell over the meetings, like when you first, first one you came to on. Yeah. Uh, it's tough. Mm -hmm. Big crowds and things it's kind of, uh, I get, I get kind of, <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, you're, get, you're getting comfortable with this group of guys, huh? Right. Yeah. I have to get comfortable with you and everything else. That's and, cool. uh, I want to bring more awareness that a lot of autistic folks are really talented. It's mm -hmm. not something to hold you back. Uh, share your talents. And, uh, uh, most of them are very artistic you know, and do art, and uh, a lot of big names are artistic. Uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd. Oh, yes. He's autistic. He's autistic. Uh, a lot of big names out there, and uh, it's nothing to hold you back. Uh, it's almost a gift, and you got to accept it and take control and do, and do what is for you. Yeah, and it uh, it seems like that's the uh, uh, the message of your channel, the autistic modeler. Yeah, and it, 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 it was tough to get started. 
And then once yeah. I get started, then and then and it gets gets rolling. I get my rhythm in to do each one. Try and do it better than the last. Well, and I yeah. try to throw tips and uh, things that I do. You know, I enjoy short tips. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that. You know, I wish a lot more folks would share their tips. Hey, this is what, and I like this group that we're in. Yeah. Uh, they tend to share their tips and I like that. So that's a good. Yeah. Thing. That that's a big special thing with, with all these guys. And, uh, and it, well, with now we got five people in the club that are YouTubers and that's the whole thing. If you're a YouTuber, you're willing to open yourself up and show all your, all your not secret tips. And it seems to be the whole group is like that. I, I, we don't have any stuck up model builders. Right. And then there, there was other clubs I've been in the past, even when I, I lived uh, back East, um, they wouldn't share their ideas or tips or, or tricks, I should say. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't very fun, you know? And I was like, well, I was in F for a little while and I was like, okay, whatever. And then I came out here and joined another recent club and it didn't work out. So I was kind of reluctant to join another club. I was like, you know what? These guys seem pretty cool. I'll give it a shot. So far, it's been really great. Yeah, we had our fifth meeting. And boy, yeah. it was last night. We had a ball. We had yeah, a really good uh, time. I, I, my gift exchange, I brought yeah. stuff. I got, uh, I got this Bronco. Yeah, you got a good one. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. So I'm, I'm very happy to get that going. Yeah, I'll that's cool. I don't know, Friday? We'll see. Uh, who, who, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, I just uh, are, are you have you done a are you going to do a video of it opening it because a little hint. Yeah, I, I'm going to do a review. I don't know, and I've looked on the internet. And I haven't seen review of that kit. Oh really? So, uh, you I might as well. That I I'm surprised. Um, yeah, yeah. The uh, um, the one I got, I got that that fit that sixty three. Corvette, and I just squeezed out a little quick video. I I got it all shot. It'll probably be out later this week. By the time this is seen, you guys have already seen it. Um, yeah, I just thought, what the heck? I might as well just share it with my audience. I've just gotten into anything model car. I just share it. It, it you know, put put it in the channel content. Right. You know. Sure. You That's you, you got to look at the audience. Hey, the audience is is just one big giant model car club, and we're all a bunch of friends. That's really right. how I how I look at it. Yeah, everything is. Uh, I I share everything. If there's a video of it, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's something someone else missed. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. You know, and every it, it doesn't matter. We could all do a video on that Bronco kit, and every video would be different. So you know, it's like it's it's never any. Oh well, I did this. Why are you bothering with it? Type thing with all of us. We all have a different take on how we do our videos, and which. Your take on doing your videos is pretty, pretty good. Right out of the box, yeah. Your first video was really excellent. Well, really, really well done. That was uh, uh I had a lot of help with that. Uh, yeah, my wife, my wife did help me a lot. Gave me a ton of tips, and my kids, uh, they watch tons of videos about everything. Oh, cool. and there's like, you can't make it too boring, Dad. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Well, I took some tips, and I kind of just watch others, and kind of did my own thing. You, know. you got a whole production team. Yeah, I got a whole team. I got that's a whole, awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they that's, all awesome. that's awesome. That's uh, awesome because it turned out great. It's like like Chuck from Chuck's Hobby Spot. He uh he immediately texts me. Did you see Louie's got a channel? Yeah, man, his first video was good. Yeah, Chuck really liked what you did. Oh, that's good. We were uh, talk- we got talking a lot about it. That and uh, um. Everybody else started noticing. It started letting out all the all the inner group know. And well, it was tough not to do the same thing someone else is doing. Yeah, uh, and that's the hardest thing. I want to try and do my own thing, but then try and you know, <laughs> it's tough to not yeah. cop someone else's sliding on somebody else's grease. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It, it's if you put your personality into it, it'll automatically turn into yours, really. Right. Yeah. I really try hard not to make it boring because, it, or something like, will I watch this? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, well, I watched I think... other videos. It was, some of them was tough to get through. And I was like, oof. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's got, you got to, that can be hard. 
Right. But you, you're doing it. I mean, you, you definitely, uh, right off the bat, your first video was done really well and it, it was smooth yeah. going. And, and everybody out there, if you haven't seen his video, you got to check it out. You really do. Uh, or, or not video, but his channel. It's, uh, you know, well, let's just go ahead and throw it up right there. Oh, I like that snap. You like Can that? Can I do that? Whoa, look at that. I Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, you have it. You have it. You have the touch. I got the touch. You got the touch. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, definitely. We uh we definitely support you. It's a uh, it's great great to have you in with the uh, with the kids here, but you know, that was that was cool. Uh Chuck got real excited. Everybody else was James, yeah, everybody I'll, looked I'll, at it. Everybody thought real positive about it. I thought you did a great job. That's great. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. This yeah, is so. uh, there's one of the, the cars from oh one of yeah. The cab. Yeah. That's cool. How many times have you built that kit? <laughs> you have brought several cop cars, a fire chief's car, a couple of cabs, right? You did a couple of yeah, cabs. Yeah, I got two, I got two cabs. And well, I got three, uh, six. You, you, you build, you build, you know, like how I first got to meet you. I thought you were strictly because, I mean, you built so fast. But uh, the first kits I saw that you built because of us being on the Silvino's Builders Club, Silvino's JR Builders Club, is, uh, um, you know, I just saw all your, all your kids. And you were knocking those petty chargers out. And the pictures you take too—that's another thing that you're really great at. You take fantastic photographs of your models. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. I got a I got a photo booth, and I got lights and stuff over here in a corner across oh, wow. my. Booth. So it's all in my office here. This is my Perfect. old model room. Oh, that's cool. So, got to have your place. Yeah, yeah and the whole setup here. And that's what it was. I mean, I think that's when we first started talking. Is it's like I wanted representation of certain models and you had great pictures and i just asked if i could use them right that was before i knew you lived here in town and then yeah, talking, live. what and you live <laughs> you live just south of me oh my yeah. goodness that's crazy and then and then you go off and you buy a fox body mustang black yours yours is an 88 also isn't it it is an 88 yeah yeah we got to get together with those cars yeah we got we got sister cars <laughs> yeah 88 Mustangs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, kind of like, like, what do you call that? Uh, 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 a midlife crisis. Oh, okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad had a Stingray when he was my age. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So he had his car too. So. Yeah. Well, that was, a, I mean, I, that was an incredible deal you got on that beautiful car too, but. Um, yeah. you've had some cool cars. We were talking about that last night. And I mean, you, but the thing is you're, you're, a, you work for a VW dealership and yes. you have a bunch of VWs. Oh yeah. And Definitely. wham, uh, out, out of the blue, you, you, you came up with this Fox body Mustang. It was a deal. I couldn't pass up. A friend called me and said, Hey, would you just interested in this car? And I'm like, how much i was expecting a whole lot more money yes yeah, so i was okay oh yeah fast enough it was a good deal you know, yeah that was a, yeah you you messaged me uh what do you think of this you think this is a good deal i said why you haven't bought it yet <laughs> that good of a deal yeah. yeah i've been out of the old car scene pretty much for a long time yeah and to me something from the 80s is not that valuable but then now i look at them i was like mm. hey, it's 35 years old yeah, yeah, things are changing with them. The right. values are just going up on those things, and they're getting. I mean, they're like, you know, when when we were in our twenties and stuff, that these these uh, these Fox Body Mustangs now are like the way the '69 Camaros were when we were in our twenties and thirties. Right, they were still cheap. Still, they were still cheap. Still, still could get in them, but they were real popular and really. Yeah, when uh, I was in my early twenties, I was buying. VW Bug for two hundred bucks and driving them home. Now you buy that same car; it's eight grand. I know. Crazy. Yeah, VW Bugs have just shot up in value. Yeah, I but, miss uh, my bug. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those things are fun. I always wanted. I never owned one. I always wanted one. They're fun to drive. 
They're okay. fun. They're slow, and they're just everybody gets smiles and waves. Yeah, you know? it's yeah, a trip. yeah. That's the thing about a bug. Everybody sees a bug and they smile. Yeah. Have you built any models of? Uh... <laughs> Have you built any models of any bugs? I haven't seen. Oh them. yeah, I brought a pink one last night. That's right. Yeah, you had that. And you, wait a second. So there's one you had last night. Another one of your taxis. Was that a uh, Prius? Prius? Yeah, it was a Prius. Who the a heck Prius. made it? Who made a Prius model kit? I, don't um, even know. I think it was Tamaya. Really? I don't know, someone someone gave it to me because I knew I liked models. I'm like, what am I going to do this dog on thing? And, <laughs> And then we had all those cabs that ran around Phoenix. I was like, I'll make a discount cab out of it. Yeah, oh, it was great. You know? So it instantly became cool. I'm a, I'm a lame mother. <laughs> I know. I looked at that and laughed. It's like, oh, only you Louis. It was right only here Louis. Drive. What's that? It was still right here, drive. Was it? I didn't. I didn't yeah. notice that. I just. I, I saw the discount back. on there. Discount. Yeah. Cab. I made those decals. Yeah. Yeah, the photographs I took off a cab. No uh, kidding. Yeah. yeah, I took made those decals. It was pretty easy. It's all this red letter. Yeah. Yeah, but, that was uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, every 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 meeting you you bring a pile of models, something different. A lot of emergency vehicles. Oh, I love that. I love fire trucks, ambulances, cabs, police cars. That is my favorite thing. Yeah. Uh, I That's why I'm that's what I'm saying. I, I I thought you were this this NASCAR model builder, and then come to find out, geez, that's really just a small part. Small part. Small part. Then yeah. what was it? It was like the first or second meeting we had. You bought a kit from me, and you had it built the next meeting. That yes. that dirt track car. Yeah, and that was actually a pile of parts. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that. That's over there. That's pretty neat. That's a pretty neat kit. And I but it, it was creative what you did with it too. It was had a cool paint job and, and a flag on it. Man. I got a website that I did years ago. I mean, this is talking Yahoo Group. Oh wow! Okay, that's a long time ago. That's a long uh, time. Ago. Johan Johan models, and it has some history and stuff like that. Uh, it's called Joe uh, Big Lose Johan models really the website yeah i'll send you the link and it it's has still some, it's still it, up huh it's still running it was on a free website i haven't shut it down yet <laughs> and uh it, it's actually pretty interesting too because uh, uh for a long time i was in the johan models and i had a lot of them yeah a lot a lot i still have quite a few but uh, nothing like i had back then really and I still have all the information of what the game in them and colors and everything that's good information because that's uh that's a very interesting modeling subject you know yes and, it is and you you uh, see uh max's models he, he did a great uh documentary right. on them so that's the, uh, cool that cadillac el dorado was uh my first first video and it was actually a pretty tough kit to build it it went together, but it had its problems, as I note in the video. Uh, but it's neat. Who yeah. else makes a Cadillac? Elder up. Exactly. Nobody. I know, and I had some of those, and I wish I still did. I'm like, I, I, well, you've been in the model car building for a long time, so you remember when the Johan kits were still on the shelves at the hobby shop. Oh, shops. yeah. I bought a lot of them. I, can buy two I of love them. I love I Johan them. models. I, I had so many. I, I have a a handful i got a good amount of them um and most of them that i have i bought they came off the the shelf at a hobby shop i bought them back when they were still available uh, i bought mine checker flag in st louis oh wow checker yeah. flag models they are still there no oh, really yeah they're still there a little mom and pop stuff they're still there oh that's good yeah they're still around but they don't have any johan kits do they no no they're they're long I think the last time I saw a Johan kit bought one off the shelf was probably like 1993 at a yeah. uh, hobby shop in Blacksburg, Virginia. Okay. Yeah, that's about the time they started fading away. Yeah, and, uh, well, I remember the hobby shop. I think they said, yeah, I, I, you know, it was the last of them at the distributor, so they bought them up. Right. Yeah. That was, that was a bummer how that all went down. How that great did. if we still had Johan. The, the kits were... 
Uh, they they were just they're just neat. Ooh, it's a little sticker I got hanging on my wall over here. That's like old school sticker though. Yeah, it is. That's very cool. It's up here with my Salvino stickers and other things. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we all got a lot of those, don't we? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The uh, um, like when I was in Atlanta, I think, well, I think Oki Spalding, who owns in name, he owns Johan. Right. And he sells a lot of Johan shirts, but it's kind of that that's not that logo. You know, he, he kind of revamped the logo a few years back, but right. there was a bunch of Johan shirts. I was I, I was wanting to buy one. I. Again, Atlanta, I was losing my mind. I forgot to go over there. Yeah. But I, I wondered if it was him sitting over there. I, I know Tim yeah. from Throttle Power is good friends with him. Well, I, knows, I him, him. knows him. Yeah, I've talked to him several times in St. Louis. Oh, yeah? He, he actually put out a special 68 Plymouth uh, with my help with uh, St. Louis County police markings in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure did. That was my help with that kit. Oh, that's uh, cool. There's not very many of them out there. I think they, he only made about 100 of them with that police markings in it. And the directions are different and everything. Really? Yeah. You have the kit? Uh, I don't have it. It got lost in the move. I lost uh, quite a bit in our move. Oh. From St. Louis. And that was one of them I lost. Oh, so. that's too bad because that would be a great video to do that. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I lost that one. That was a rough time, but we, I've been out in Phoenix for 11 years now, so yeah, made my mark here in Phoenix. So it's been been, uh, been great, I'm, and I'm glad to be here. Oh, that's great. Definitely. We're glad Love to have it. you here in the... It's nice weather right now. It's not so nice in the summer, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, Did if you... you don't mind, I'll show a couple of my builds. Yes, please, please do. Oh, can you see that? Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good spot right there. Sure. This is nice 65. fade. Right there. Did like a fade. Oops, fall apart. Like those are those, those uh, what do they call them? Uh, mod, uh, super stockers or? Yeah, the modified stock. Modified stocker series, yeah. This is, and this one over here, this is a little preview, a little preview for the next video. Ooh, yeah, you were talking about that last night to me. Yeah, almost, it's almost done. It's got the clear window in it. It's you nice. Know, it's coming off. This one, I probably have this one wrapped up tonight when I finish, finish the video. Got a full custom interior. Oh, nice. A TV set. Did the kit come with that or did you add that stuff? Um, I added the, the, uh, the, the sink and stuff in there. But it came with a table and the seats and the television set. Oh, wow. So, you know, and I carpeted it. There they go. That's an interesting kit. It is. It's a. It's kind of an odd kit. But I thought it was pretty cool as it was. So. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. I really like odd kits. I'm, I'm a... No. I like Gremlins and Mavericks and weird stuff. You know? Uh, yeah. Stuff that no one else would really want. And I, I always buy that up. Well, we both you and I share something we were talking about last night. We share something that's very close to our heart, and they don't do enough in model form is station wagons. Definitely. We both, both in the real world, you and I both have owned a bunch of them. And uh, yeah, we definitely uh, Wait, I've owned quite a few. Like to, like to have different, more model kits. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a 58 Ford station wagon. I yeah. restored that. That was a cool car. And Boy, that would be cool. My wife and I had a, a 68 AMC station wagon, a Rebel. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool car. And I had a tourist wagon, a Jetta station wagon. And, and there's another one in there and I've forgotten. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I yeah. had so many cars. Yeah, me too. I, like station wagons. I mean, anytime I can, I've had some really cool ones. The last one I had was, I've showed it before, was my 72 Chevelle wagon. That thing was really cool. Um, I got, that, is a cool that was the, that one I owned when all of a sudden wagons now 
I remember when I bought it running, I bought it for two grand and I had never paid that for a wagon, but I'd always wanted one of them Chevelle wagons. And by the time I got done with what I was doing with it, and I, I was nowhere finished with it, the amount of money that was offered to me, I go, oh, I never thought I'd ever get this for a station wagon. It, it, it sold for really crazy money. If I had it now, it would sell for twice as much of what I sold it for. Yeah, it, it's it's really the the, the uh, vintage car market has really gone crazy. It's, it's out of its mind, is what it is. Yeah. But even even like four four doors and and wagons, which you know they never would. Not until no. about five six years ago, they could be you know nothing. Yeah, I used to always buy four doors and wagons because they were cheaper. Yeah, that was uh, my know, thing. You could do the same stuff. You can race them up. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Oh, like well, my Cheval wagon. You know, I I and if I got from you know fellow YouTuber Ralph over there at uh, the Model Car Muscler, I bought the Model Car the the muscle car model. the Muscle Car Modeler. Oh, sorry, Ralph. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, um, he had, he happened to have the hood. He was restoring his wife's 72 Chevelle and he wanted to get a different hood for it. He, and he had the, the, it was the cowl without the flap and he wanted to get one with the flap. Oh. And it happened to be that my car was white. Her car was white. He had painted stripes on it. So the hood was white with stripes on it. I take that hood. I drop it onto my Chevelle wagon and it instantaneously gave it a new appearance, you know, having the stripes oh, sure. on the hood and, and having that cowl hood or, or just what I, I guess that was technically called the heavy Chevy hood or something. Yeah. That's what Yeah. And then I put Corvette rally wheels around it and BF Goodriches and that car was winning. It was cool. Nice. That, that was a cool car. But yeah, the, yeah that was all the way to having a, oh, I had a 63 Fairlane wagon once came from oh, Rhode yeah. Island. Yeah. It actually, yeah. That car had, um, uh, I still, I kept it. It's still in my garage was, you know, you know, when the, the, the emblems, they would actually, they were solid pieces of steel emblems from the dealerships and they put them on the, oh, on yeah, the back the of the car. They, the it'd be a, it would be like another emblem on the car. Yes. Uh, Tasca Ford, my, my, oh, yeah. So I kept that Tasca Ford thing. It's, it's pitted real bad, but. That's cool. Yeah, that was a neat one. I got it somewhere in the garage. Right. But yeah, they don't make enough models of of wagons. Wagons, definitely. They should yeah. make more. And they should know by, you know, the, yeah, there you go. Wagons. Definitely. The box stock right here. Box stock. Yeah, the old Johan Am. Yeah. That was a kid I always kept blowing off getting, and then, you know, they're hard to obtain now. Then yeah, you, I see behind you there, you've got uh, got the Johan uh, Plymouth wagon way up on top. Oh yeah, up there. Yeah, there it is. you can see it higher. Is that just a box or is it? Is no, it the, the car? car's up. The car is up there. Uh, will that be built or are you you just? Oh, it's it? built. Oh, you built it's it. It's built. Up. Oh yeah, it's already up there. Oh sweet! That yeah. was another one I always yeah. wish I would have grabbed. I got a lot of odd cars maybe i could just can well this thing flip around you can see my room go for it if you want everybody see, likes to see everyone's ducks. model room well is it working no i just no, did it no, no you're there you're there we can see you all right here we'll we'll go up uh like that oh that is cool i got a pin to the wall with the car on top of what a great way to display your models. Yeah, then we'll go. Whoops, I just tripped over to Bronco. We'll go over here. Is Bronco like, okay? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. Oh, that is they're, cool. They're all over the place. That is a neat way to display your models. There's a, that, that whole wall there is uh, uh, mostly Salvinos and NASCARs. Yeah. A little closer here. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's my, my paint booth and all my stuff there. There's your, yeah. 
the place that makes it happen where you make it happen yeah where the where the magic is i guess you yeah say. oops oh sorry Stand that's by. okay that's we're all right good. we got our seat belts on we can handle it there we nice go. excellent yeah. thanks for the tour Look that was cool you. oh in your neighborhood you can come by and see it for yourself yeah, I know. At one time, I had to work. When we had a plan, I was going to come over, and I had to work. Yeah. I hate that when that happens. Yeah, we got to we got to get together. Uh, definitely, that's a neat way to show off your models. That was cool. What yeah, did you do? How how do you got those up there? Do you feel comfortable with having your having your built up sitting on that? Um, uh, push pins. That's My it. My wife's idea. They hold. That's it. Everybody's like, oh, they're going to fall down. They've been up there for years. Really? Right. Yeah, they're fine. That's they're cool. Not anywhere. I've only had one casualty. And actually, it was a shelf, a physical shelf, fell and crushed everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you, <laughs> this here, that's going to change soon where I got my mother. That they get not, they, it come close a couple of times. You know, the grandkid comes in or heck, anybody right. comes in. It, you know, I got it next to the door because, you know, I'm not that smart. Put your models on a Ooh, rickety shelf right next job. to the door. That swing. Yeah. Good thinking. I want to get those carny. I don't have a lot of room. My, my whole room, most of the wall looks like this. So I have all wrapped around here is, uh, you know, okay. it, it, it kits unbuilt. So yeah, my I closet could... is full of my unbuilt stuff. It's like oh, a little okay. mini hobby shop. That uh, my wife actually organized them by model brand and year. Nice. Yeah. So all I got to do is like, oh, I want AMT. There it is, seventy-two. Yes. Oh. Oh yeah, you got you got to do that. Like with mine, I I I categorize by types of cars and like this is mostly all GM, and then I have you know Camaros, Novas, and it goes over here. Actually, we get into Fords over here. And then down here are Chevelles. And, but then the way I stack them, I stack them by year. You got, you got to keep it organized. that Because then when I know, when I want to find a 74 Camaro, it's right up there. You out of the, let's see, right up there. All the way up at the top, there's a 74 Camaro. No, it's not for sale. I'm not saying that to you, Louie. I get a lot of people oh, oh, messaging me. <laughs> you want to buy it? I get I, I get a lot of people uh oh, they yeah. see that's they see a, a kit. Hey, how much for that? <laughs> that's a wanted kit. Yeah. It's not yeah. in that great a shape, believe me. Oh it, it's a it's a falsity up there, I think. Nice uh, box art, anyway. It is. I love box art. That's well, why well, that's, that, that's why that's a cool way of displaying your models is is uh is yeah, putting I, I like that. That looked really, really I, neat. I can't have the heart to throw them out because somebody took the time to uh, draw that up or whatnot, and I think it's that's really neat. That's part of the kit. It is. I, you know, I, I, I said this in one of my real early videos is why I like to display all my kits like this and everything is, is it's called box art, right? It's art. You put it on the wall. It's something you enjoy. Sure. It, it, you look at kits. You look at kits from years ago, and it's like a song from, you know, when you were in high school. When you hear it, it takes you back to that moment. And it's like, yeah. there's kits. You know, you see, I, it takes you back to that moment that that kit came out and when you first saw it or when you built it. And, and it's just, you're right. You know, somebody took the time to make some beautiful artwork. Somebody like, like James Tester built a few, uh, you know, I've known a few guys that have built uh, box art kits. Yeah. And, I know, um, I know a guy that does a lot of the trucks, the big truck kits. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's, uh, to me, I, I, yeah, I have a hard time throwing box, you know, yeah. the, the box away. Especially if they're hand drawn, like, oh. Illustrations. That's all yeah. the most of the Johan one. That's what that's what drew me to him as a kid. Yeah, the Johan box art was always so cool looking. I you always know, the heavily hurts is like, oh, you gotta take that to the beach. That's so cool with the surfboard. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I I won't I I have some Johan boxes. I I won't, you know, those I won't sell. I won't throw those away. There's no way. 
That's insanity. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, they'll, they will never. I have thrown there. some away back in the day when, you know, they were still on the shelves. But, but it's like my favorite box art of all time. And I remember going to the store when they were on the shelves. I don't know who the artist is. I've always wanted to find out who it is. But back in the 80s, Monogram, when they really got there in the early 80s, mid 80s, when they really got their race car series going, the NASCARs, all of them, though, NASCARs, all the different drag racing, even the IMSA cars, they were all kind of like paintings on the box. And it was all done. It looked like it was from the same artist. Yeah. They were uh, so cool. I, you know, I, I collect them the all. Mountain Dew car, Mountain Dew Buick. The what? No, oh, yeah. That yeah. there, that's the example. That's a perfect example. That artist, I don't know who it is. If anybody out there knows who that artist is, I've been trying to find out. Those, all that those, is my uh, favorite. I'm everywhere yeah. I look, I see those, those kits, and those were my favorite. Yeah, I could, uh, the, the Mountain Dew, the Uno mm. Buick, the Cold oh, yeah. Thunder. Petty's Pontiac, they're all neat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then then all of a sudden when uh, I think it was, let me see, the first, I think it was the Tim Richmond Folgers car. Monogram put a picture of a built model on there. And it was great looking box art. And they set it up to look like it was running on the track. But I kind of went, oh, man, they're not doing the paintings anymore. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Bummed out. It's kind of like what uh, what AMT Ertl did with the tan box and a picture of a oh. milk car. Ugh. Yeah, some of the box are I can throw away. There's some of these I can. Yeah, you know some are really <laughs> bad. Yeah, some of them get yuck. But uh, I'm glad that uh, round two is bringing back some of the artwork part of it. Yeah. To just, you know, oh, I know. Just, yeah, round two is just the the box art they're doing. They're bringing out old box art, or they they get someone, they commission somebody to to do the box art in the style of the old ones, right? Because it could and, be a kid. Uh, here's a brand new issue I got with actually artwork. And this is a Ravel. I just got this. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, Look at that, that artwork. Well, that's cool. That is beautiful. And, and it notice it says without trailer. <laughs> like it would fit in the box you know yeah well, yeah because we nobody can figure that out i love the box art stuff it's so it makes it almost fun yeah. that's why i enjoy building like the box art I, that's uh if it's a johan kit it's almost guaranteed gonna be built like the box because i really enjoy that there are a few there's a few kits that, that i see the box art you know not counting a race car or something that i want to build that car that uh I'll say, like there's one there's one particular kit let me see it it was an old it said camaro ss but it was like a 70 it was a 70 camaro the full bumper standard nose with the blinkers underneath the bumper and the, it's all a painting and it had a white drag car launching off the off the line and i don't have that kit but i have the box and I have it right up here. And I've always wanted to build that car. And it was called the yeah, projectile. And I have a set of old decals. So I want to try to do that car one day. And I'll I'll build it off of uh off of well now that uh you know round two came out with the 70 and a half Camaro and they put the standard nose on it with the full bumper. Yeah. Oh. I haven't bought one of those yet. Oh. You haven't? I haven't got one. Better be no. for their, I don't know if they're producing I, them anymore. I better buy one. Yeah. Go over to the Andes or something to get one. Yeah, they were, that was it. They did an outstanding job on that. They did a right. real outstanding job. There was only one thing I was like, eh, that kind of bad, but I, I have a fix for that, which was the blinker. They didn't do a real good job on the blinker. And that was, and that's not, that's nothing. That's easy. It was just a clear part. You know, yeah, uh, and that's easy to, you know, I have a way of fixing that, but um, the, the rest of it, they did great job. Had, that era Camaro, it was a 73, I don't know, correct me, I don't know, but it's, it's like in the garage, you're pulling the engine out of it, it's yellow. The yellow one, yeah, you're right, it was, this, that was the 73, that's another one, uh, that's a yeah. box art I want to get a hold of. That's a neat box, I had that years ago. Yeah, that was a cool one, that was... Uh, a buddy of mine has that who's 
he got out of model cars a long time. Well, he never was really, he enjoyed them, but he didn't get that into them. But he was my Camaro buddy back in my Camaro. I, that's how I had quite a few Camaros for a long time. And, uh, and he, uh, had that he had that box art in his he had it set up in his uh garage because he just loved that box art that's, and i've, yeah, I've asked good. him every time i've ever talked to him you ever want to get rid of that let me know yeah Not, that's a good yeah doesn't have the kit just the box just the box hey the box. i'd still take that oh that's heck yeah cool yeah the, do you have do you have a particular box art one is there a model kit that that is your favorite box art of all time uh the, that's a hard one johan johan 68 plymouth police car every time i see one i buy it i don't care how much it is i buy it no it's kidding pay, wherever it's at that, i buy it is that the one is it is it is it chicago or new york on uh, the cover depending on what issue the cover is detroit detroit it's, yes it's white and blue yeah yes white and blue but it's that's why i always thought yeah. i would assume it was new york but yeah that's right it was detroit yeah the detroit yeah, a- and then, uh, the other there's there's another variation with a yellow box with detroit and other versions on the box mm. and uh yeah that's my all-time favorite car no i must kidding. have had 30 of them 30 oh years. my goodness really yeah over ever since i was a kid i would buy that and it was, it seemed like over at, uh, I'd go to Schaefer's Hobby Shop in the inner city of St. Louis and ride my bicycle down there. Don't tell mom. But, uh, cause it was kind of a, it was okay. kind of a rough neighborhood, you know what I mean? Whoa. Even back then in the 80s. But I'd ride my bike. It was probably 10 miles from our house. And, uh, it was always the Johan stuff was way on top. And I'd have the old lady get on her ladder and, bring that one down let me look at it and then nah, i didn't like that give me the other one uh maybe and let me see that one way on top she brought nah, i don't like that up and down this lady went his ladder wow <laughs> so nice wow <laughs> i would have so hated you a lot yeah a what an kid, awesome you know? woman yeah she was great that's that cool lady. but uh schaefer's hobby shop i don't know if they're still around or not They've moved several times, but yeah, it's a but uh, that's cool where I grew up. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. that uh, that was another one that I kept going. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. And then they were gone. Whoops, lost you. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stand by. Stand by. We got. There we go. All better. Excellent difficulties. Stand now, then. Okay. You can edit that out. Maybe. Or it'll be at the end in the uh, in, in the in the bloopers. Okay. <laughs> and that is a great shirt you have on there, sir, I might have to say. Yeah. Yep. You're representing. You ever think yeah. you might uh go to a uh go on a trip to a model show far away with us? Oh, uh- Came like the, I heard next you guys year, talking maybe, about Salt it, Lake and that coming oh, out. Maybe yeah, well, out. that everybody needs to go to Salt Lake in yeah, yeah, next year. I've never been to that, but uh, and that's the last chance about, to go. Yeah, they're gonna. Close I never that. have either. But um, I don't know what else is coming up. Um, I I don't I don't keep up with the shows. I don't take my stuff to shows very often. I go to shows to buy, you know. Mm. Yeah, you know, you, you like, I mean, the way I always feel about it, I, every model I build, I'll take it to a show. I don't believe in, it's just a shelf model. Just e- even if I'm just throwing it together, I like, just like, you know, the model meetings too. I go to the shows, to me, it's a big model meeting. And I take my models there to put on the table, to show what I do and meet other people. And lots of times, you know, you meet people because you like their model and you find out this dude's a pretty cool dude. And you have a yak session with them. Well, they, it's the same way with you. They see your work. Who the heck built this, uh, this, this uh, taxi cab? Then they meet you and 
There you go. God, I love the yeah, wheels. I, I love poverty I cap wheels. I love steel wheels with poverty caps. I love that. Oh yeah, this is one of the best kits for them. Right? Ah. I enjoy I enjoy meeting people, but to me, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, you know, to, 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 to bring myself out. But right? that's why it would probably good like like when we went to. Um, I mean, that's definitely one next year you got to go to is when we all went to the NHRA Museum show, Ron Ramsey. And you'll probably end up meeting Ron because he actually lives in Arizona, even though it's way up north. But he mm -hmm. he he goes down to L.A. That's where he's originally from. And he did live here at one time. He was actually in the early version of of the model car mafia. And he's the guy who puts on that show. And he lives up in Havasu. And we talked and he says, Hey, I, you know, I come to, uh, you know, he comes down here for weekends. He said he'd love to come down here and come to us, come to some model meetings. So okay. I told him, well, then you're in, <laughs> that's all it takes to be in our club. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You just, just show up and you're in. Fun. So you'll get to meet him probably for the next one. And then with all of us going, that'll probably help you feel a little more comfortable having all of us there. Well, that might be it because it's, uh crowds and things are really kind of the older i get it seems like it gets worse i, I don't know if i hey man it. it's i feel the same way you know uh i i i bring my wife along because she's she's kind of my my comfort zone you yeah know? she helps me with everything that's I good and oh also, yeah yeah uh, she's a great support yeah she's a great support that i gotta have that yeah and she's in and she's into it i had i have a blast talking to her too you know we're all, with the three of us were all talking cars last night yeah it's cool having her with you but yeah think about it you know you that's the thing you'll have us too with you you'll have you'd have a good time yeah have, have well, you ever been to any shows i went to a lot of shows back in st louis uh we would go to kirkwood model meetings oh uh, yeah to Kirkwood uh, Midwest Model Vehicles Association. And those became, to me, seemed like they were kind of biased. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. not into win, but it seemed like the same fellows were winning all the time. It was just like, yeah. But, you yeah. Know, but, but, and, and that's why I quit entering things. I just go for the buy stuff and look at other folks' things, and that was about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that's that might be the thing, like with, nnls that kind of takes that pressure off it's like i brought i brought models i knew my models when i put them on the table at, at atlanta i knew what was there and i knew they would just kind of disappear really compared to some of the stuff that was on Remember the stuff is, yeah but I, you end up having people say hey that was yours that was pretty neat you know oh, that you you brought that that is cool that that to me is that is well, uh, that, more that, than that's winning the I award. Somebody recognized my whatever I brought compared to someone else's. Um, you know, I, I call them key and ignition cards with all the stuff they buy for them. Yeah, you know, all the photo edge keys and, and the nuts and the bolts and which yeah. Yeah, that's fine, but uh, to me that that's that's too much. I lose it and then the carpet monster again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I yeah, I don't. I haven't gone that far with them with a model. No, I, I, I like I, photo I, etch, but some of the photo etch. Yeah, I'll, it's really kind of. I got kind of, monkey hands. I, I'll I'll yep, destroy I'll, it. I'll wreck it somehow. Yeah. But that's yeah, where I, like like James's uh, James Tester's uh, new group that he started. We've been talking about, and, and I did a couple of videos on. It's growing quick just this weekend is that strictly stock but strictly box stock you joined it didn't you oh yeah i'm in there yeah yeah oh, yeah because no, i saw i saw a couple of your three. couple of your builds were on there that's cool yeah i enjoyed yeah. it that's real that's my comfort zone is box stock but gee yeah. whiz i'll tell you what i'm looking at that you know i just put a video out today i don't know if you saw this i i think i did i don't know i never remember what videos i put up and don't yet geez but I go on there and, and see some models there that just were mind blowing box stock models and they're just beautiful. Yeah, I love doing that. I enjoy that. 
Yeah. Uh, but I, that, I've, that. I've been one that, and I'm like this with real cars too. It's like, I, you know, you've, you've been in the real car thing, going to the car hangout. And it's like, you, you, there's the guys that have the really nice shiny cars and they don't, and a guy comes in with, you know, a beater, I guess, but there's coolness about those beaters. I mean, yeah, definitely. I just went to the duct tape drags a few months ago. Yeah. And, and they were literally four door Chevelles with a six oh, cylinder with a blower and stuff. I was yeah. like, that's is cool stuff. Yeah. I like it all. I like, I'll, I like, I'll go. And, and that's why I like that one friend of mine, I was telling you about that, uh, that has that Camaro kit, that, that yellow Camaro, uh, box we were talking oh, about right. the boxer yeah. so he has a 69 ss396 chevelle he's had it for a long time it's a survivor very nice looking car i've always had my crap that i've always had we go to car hangouts together and park next to each other you know because we're buds and but he has always been the type of guy with what he has he appreciates cars you know whatever i've gotten you know, anybody else he meets somebody who has a cool car it could have a ton of rust on it you know or it could it, but there's always something cool about it. he would go like that's cool yeah it, it, those are the kind of car people those are the kind of model car people i like to hang with that's how i am and it's it's like i find it my old buddy frank was that way who built amazing models and built amazing cars and he would see stuff like that and see people's models and see something great in every model we look at. Yeah, I see that. I, I, I see something. Like, if somebody brings something weird, I was like, you yeah. know, that is pretty neat. Yeah, there Whatever. was a new there was a new guy last night. I didn't get. Oh, I, I think I can figure out who who brought this model. I wasn't sure who brought it, but it's in my video. Did you see that Mustang that had the lights working, but it was like like a spaceship? Oh, that, yeah, like floating and stuff. Yeah, I I didn't know who brought that, but I was looking over pretty good. That, that was neat. Was cool. I I, you know, and just me, I get gabbing with everybody. I wanted to figure out who it was and talk to him about it. That was a neat neat model. I love yeah, stuff that like that. Cool. I love I love I love, you know, creativity like that. That's what's really cool. Nothing different. Yeah, something different all the way. Right. Well, let's give one more shout out to your channel, which uh, is again right there. You like that, huh? I did. I, did. <laughs> I got this magical, and this is yeah, about magic. me. Um, the autistic modeler, go check out his channel. Sub, like, hit the hit the like button to smash that thing or whatever, and and. And check out Louie's channel. He uh, he's just a, a creative guy. Does neat stuff. Is very interesting uh, videos. Very well done. Right out of the box. Really well done. Right out of the box. Impressed. 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 And uh, if you, you you'll see him on the face box all over the place. That guy he takes great pictures of his models and puts them all over the place. Especially those those uh, petty chargers, man. And I know if you go back and look at my videos, and I always put his name up, I use his models a lot. Your pictures are always really cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, and that's, again, that's that's like a part of your hobby is taking a nice picture of them, too. I love taking photographs of them. Oh, Definitely. awesome. Awesome. All right, Louie. Well, you got anything to say uh, before we're out of here? This is Autistic Modeler. Happy modeling. Ah, beautiful. Well, now on to the next part is I ask everybody. Oh, yeah. All my guests. Are you ready for it? Can you do it? Don't screw it up like like Chuck from Chuck's Hobby Spot did last night. No guarantees. But All right. keep Take it cutting out. that plastic styrene. Sorry. Cutting the styrene, gluing your fingers together, and keep building those models. Close or way off? Way off. Oh, nobody's ever going to learn. One more time. Give it a shot. <laughs> Keep gluing those fingers together and cutting that styrene. And we'll see you in the next video. I'll take we'll it from you. there. You, you I, did. I blew it. I blew it. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, everybody does. 
it's okay. It's all. It's like I think the only person who really gets it down is the Don. You know, he loves. He's like all excited. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it, Dave Bell? <laughs> well, thanks for having me on. Oh, thank you for blast. coming. This was a ball, man. I, I and we'll have you back on and 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 just you know we ended up just talking models and cars and stuff. So that's what we do. That's what we do yeah. here. All, all right. right, bud. Well. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we'll see you all in the next unpodcast, the next videos. And you know what else we say here? What we let you know is, here's the producers! What? Uh, I, just, I just started the recording. Oh. Um, we're not officially starting until I say, you know, hello, fellow car model or whatever it is I say. Oh, the boy needs a drink. Where's your cup? You had a cup. I don't know where your cup is. There was a cup. No cup. You got to go get a cup. Hold on a quick sec. And I'll go take this to your dad. Parents are here. Why am I playing babysitter? Send them back to the owners. <laughs> yes. Hey, shut the door. Hey, can someone shut the door? I'm trying to do a thing. All right. Gotta get game face on. Well, hello. <laughs> you got it? Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? Welcome to another Unpodcast. We're chugging these things out. I got another buddy of mine who happened to just start a uh, a Facebook. Wow. Blew it. Never mind. Shut the gate. Let's try it again. Take two. 